Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm doing a Christmas DIY from the dollar store and all you will need are these two red bowls and you are going to turn this into a giant decorative bell. So I'll just be walking you guys through step-by-step step on how to do this exactly. And these look gorgeous in some garland or even in some large trees if you need some spaces filled. Don't mind my chickens here. <laughs> but the first thing you're going to do is spray paint your bowls with this aged copper spray paint. This will give it a really cool metallic look, but you're going to give this a full coverage. So I did two coats of this spray paint. And then you're gonna go back over with just a little bit of black spray paint. You don't wanna give this full coverage, just some spots of black. The two colors that I'm using for this bell is elephant gray and khaki, and I'm going to mix these two colors together to give it more of like a tan grayish look. But the first step to painting your bells, you're actually going to cover with some Elmer's glue. And my paintbrush already had some paint on it, which is totally fine. You're just gonna to wanna to give this one good coat of Elmer's glue, and then you're going to immediately cover it with the paint color. Then you will do the same thing to the other bowl. And once those are finished, you're not going to let them dry. The next step will be to kind of distress this, which I just use some grocery store bags for this. And I'm just basically dabbing the paint off. And you can do this as much as you want, as little as you want. I ended up going through about two to three bags um, just because it gets covered in paint. So I tried to turn it inside out, use the other side of the bag but you'll see just the technique. I didn't really wanna speed this up. I wanted you guys to see exactly how I got the look for each of these bells. While we are watching this process, I wanted to let anybody know that doesn't know yet, we opened an online Christmas store called The Christmas Cottage. You can find it on Instagram at The Christmas Cottage underscore or you can go online to the christmas cottage dot shop so those are the two ways that you can find us we have so many amazing items on their way that will be shipped to here by the end of this week we already have a lot of things on our website we've sold out of some things so i just want to let you guys know if you weren't aware yet i did announce it in our last video but if you missed that i just wanted to make sure everybody that was watching this video was aware of that announcement just in case you missed it i have been so grateful for every single order that has come in you have no idea how much your support means to me so i have just been so grateful for every single one of you For this next step, you're going to want to make your own little stencil. It kind of looks like a thermometer, and I'm just going to show you exactly how I trace this on. After you have a little stencil, you're going to start anywhere on the bowl, 
you're going to want the little ball part to be towards the rim of the bowl. You're going to start with one, trace it on there and then paint that black. So you're gonna paint the entire inside of that black. And I'm just using some craft paint to paint the black on. Once you're done with your very first one, you're going to want to do the next one directly across from this one so that all of the little fake holes in your bell are symmetrical. After you have two that are directly across from each other, for the next one, you wanna kind of eyeball this and just do it directly in the center of those two other fake holes. All right, this next step is extra. You do not have to do this, but if you want your bell to actually jingle and sound like a legit bell, then you can throw a little jingle bell in there before you hot glue the two bowls together. Then you know it's Christmas with a snow star. I will have the name of this dark brown linked in the description box below as well as all of the other paint colors and everything else I'm using. So if you need information, just look in the description box. But I feel like this brown over the rim of the bell makes it look so much more realistic. If you've seen those ginormous distressed bells, they all have like a brown rim around them and so that's kind of what I'm going off of. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Come, let us adore. The next step would be to make some kind of loop on the top of your bell. I just grabbed some rope from the Dollar Tree and I cut it up to the size that I wanted. This is basically just to be able to hook onto something because I want this hung off of my garland. And then for some extra steps, I think it'd be really pretty to put some greenery and even a bow on top. So the greenery I actually found in one of my bins. I'm pretty sure I got it from the dollar store last year. And then for the bow, this is also something I got last year. I think this was from Walmart, but I just cut some ribbon and then tied a little bow and glued this to the top of the bell. Adore him, Christ, Lord. 
So I decided to hang mine on my front porch. I wanted to have some big bells hanging above with the garland and I love how this turned out. I'm super happy with it. But again, if you're thinking of some places, I think a Christmas tree would also be great to have some of these within your ornaments and they would be a huge statement piece for a very inexpensive price tag. Father, now in flesh appearing, come let us adore him. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that. We will see you guys in the next video. Adore him, cry.